Hey guys, this is Rodeska and I'm coming you, to you today with a tutorial for how I created this hair inside of ZBrush um, using fiber mesh. Uh, this is going to be going over some tips and tricks that you can use to style the hair. Um, please note that this hair was uh, changed um, a little bit uh, because I recently updated the head so I've been working on it but it uh, to be honest, it did look a little bit better than this. I've been just kind of regrooming it, and um, I just wanted to touch up on how I did this um, so that hopefully you guys can style your hair a little bit better instead of uh, ZBrush. All right, so let's get started. All right, so this character is uh, Gwen Stacy, the ghost spider, um, and I've just been kind of making it my own version. Um, and yeah, just been trying to fiddle with the, the, the look and everything like that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this, um, her head right here that I've been working on. And we're going to go down to append. And we're going to, you can append a sphere or a plane or whatever. I'm going to append a sphere because it's just a little bit easier to control the amount of fibers. Um, and I'm just going to kind of mask off just like a little area on here. And this is going to be kind of like the area that we're going to use for spawning this the uh, the fiber mesh and then working with it so we're going to turn on our preview and right away you can notice that that's a little bit too small and obviously not the look we're going for so we can go into our modifiers I'm going to drop this down drastically because I don't need that many fibers in fact I don't need as many of these um, still so we're going to try to drop this down as low as we possibly can Okay, and we're gonna we're just gonna grab a clump from here. Um, we're not gonna grab all of these. We're just gonna grab like a tiny little clump from here. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're going to turn up the coverage a lot so that they make them nice and fat. Now you could do this um, with thick geometry. Or you can do this with little polyplanes. It'd probably be better if you did it with little polyplanes. It saves on resolution or it saves on uh, points point count in here. So you can do that with that or you can just, you know, um, add to the profile and what that's going to do is it's going to make it these little tubes, um, but I'm just going to stick with uh, one for now and then we're going to change up the length profile to make this a lot larger and then with this you can actually change it by the area. So if I shrink this you'll notice that they're getting smaller and smaller, um, but if you actually drop this down lower they're going to get sort of bigger and then also by the mask I'm just gonna actually crank that up um, okay and what we also want to do is we want to go into our length variation and turn that down we want these to all be the same length because I'm again I'm just gonna grab some clumps from the area and we're gonna change up the length a lot and you can see that they're they're just kind of like these grassy looking things. So if you're making grass, this is perfect, but that's not what we're making. We're going to change up the segments to about 32 or 30. That seems about right. We're going to turn off the twist so that they're not twisting along the curve. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to turn off gravity. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to just making sure that I got everything. Uh, let's just change this to one and one so that they're the same. And then for the width, we can actually change this along the profile as well. So we can change this down to here and then this and then drag this over to make sure that the width of this is getting as close to the scalp as possible. So we're dragging this over to make sure that the width of this is coming down a little bit more. That's going to give you more of kind of like an anime kind of look. And if you want, you can add another point in here to make sure that it's, you know, towards the tip is a little bit bigger as well. Okay, and like I said, we're only going to be grabbing a small clump of this, but, you know, we want to make sure that we get a decent range going before we do um, decide to do this. Okay, so I'm going to turn down the coverage a bit more. Okay, and don't worry about all this, like, the swibbliness, the wobbliness in here. It's all going to be combed out as soon as we start combing it. 
Right now it looks really frizzy. But this seems to be about perfect, so I'm going to grab this. Um, and again, maybe you want to add profile to this to make sure that it's like kind of, um, to make sure that it's like, you know, more anime looking, like maybe you could add like four and that's going to add uh, a little bit of, uh, kind of like an anime look to it. Okay. And I think I'm going to grab these two right here because these two are too far away from each other. And then there's a little one right there. I don't want that. So I'm going to grab these two. These two seem really perfect. Okay. So we're just going to hit accept. And we're just going to grab the roots of these so that it's only showing these two. Okay. Now what we're going to go say is delete hidden. What that's going to do is it's going to delete everything that's missing or everything that you can't see. And then we can go in here to our snake hook. Make sure that we can still groom these. We can. Cool. Turn off RGB and unless you want to change the color. And there you have it. We have these two little clumps that we're going to use to shape our hair. Okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to turn off the sphere. And the cool thing about this is I'm actually going to set this into a folder called hair. And then we're going to bring this gizmo all the way to the roots. So about here. And then we can sit there and we can then place these uh, along the head. Generally where you want it to go. So maybe somewhere around here is where our starting part is. And then what we could do is make sure that our axis is going along the... Uh, as, as close to the curve as we can. If you don't... If it's not straight, what you can do is you can then straighten it out a little bit if you want by combing it. And then what we can do is we can go into our bend curve, change the axis, uh, yeah, change the axis to be along the hair. And we can sit there and we can then move this. Uh, I have symmetry turned on by accident, so let's turn that off. Okay. Make sure we turn that off. And then what we can do is we can just use bend curve to move this generally in the area that we want. So very quickly just kind of bending these. Make sure you also save a duplicate as well. Because uh, if you don't have a duplicate, so I'm just going to hit Control Shift D to duplicate this. If you don't have a duplicate, then you're basically going to have to keep um, reshaping it every single time to be straight. Or um, it's going to take a lot more time to reshape this. But as you can see, this might take a long, long time, but the cool thing about this is that we can then um, combine these to make uh, make even better clumps. So let's just go like this, add another one, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. But we can uh, combine these to make even better um, better clumps. So now what we can do is like now that we have it generally in the direction that we want we can go back into our groom brush and we can start grooming this uh, a little bit better. And yes, uh, grooming does work with um, the gizmo. So if you start using the gizmo to kind of set these Then, and you can see that since we duplicated it and we already set it up, um, you can see that every time we go back to the original, it's gonna all those settings are gonna be the same. So you don't have to constantly keep going in there and, and uh, changing the settings and everything like that. You can just um, set it up and then duplicate it, and then those settings will stay on the original. So you know, just a heads up with that. But we can then sit here, and I know this is gonna take a long time. But again, right now, all I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get it generally in the um, direction that I want. And then we're just going to kind of curl that over. You could also use dynamics to help you with this as well. But um, that's a little bit finicky on my end because, you know, it's just all the settings and stuff that you have to deal with. But yeah, you just want to kind of go in here, shape it up, right? And then once you're ready to duplicate this, Maybe you want to make sure that these are two separate groups. Okay. So just make sure that's another group. And then turn off everything that isn't this, these hairs. 
turn off the original. Okay, maybe we want to kind of bring this a little bit closer, a little bit further out, like that. The cool thing about this is that you can also use the deform soft to go in here and clump these together. So if you want these hairs to be a little bit closer together, you can kind of just use the deform soft to kind of push these together a little bit more. Okay. Initially, this is what we're creating. We're just creating a kind of, you know, big old clump of hair. You can also just like, from here, you could just duplicate it off right here, shape it, you know. Um, the unfortunate part about that is that it's going to do this once you break the um, fiber mesh. So you have to duplicate it off like this and you have to move it over. And then what you want to do is you want to shape it, like comb it the shape you want. Duplicate that. Maybe shape it out like this. Maybe push it, push it in a little bit more. And then you would sit there and you would merge these together. But what we're going to do is we're going to merge these ones first. Okay. So this is going to be your first clump of hair. You're going to go down to merge, merge visible, and that's going to merge these together without destroying the. Uh, fiber mesh so I can still groom these as you can see if I were to pull away it's not going to distort these I can still groom these okay and you're just going to append that I know that this is like a horrible way to do it in terms of like um, you know in terms of like oh I'm actually in the wrong one ain't I yeah I'm in the wrong one all right um let's go over here this is like a horrible way to do it in terms of workflow and it's going to take a while but you know sometimes you just you got to do those things that are going to take forever okay making sure that I don't have all my other previous heads on there we go and making sure I don't have my original hair and my default and the sphere okay and then we're just going to sit there and we're going to duplicate this back shift control D to duplicate it again and we're just going to kind of set it up in the same way Again, you can also lengthen these up by using the groom lengthen. If you don't like the length of these, you can sit there and you can kind of lengthen these up a little bit more. Push them together. You know, it's just generally the same thing as hairstyling it. Um, maybe you don't like the way these roots are kind of lined up together, so maybe you want to kind of like shift them a little bit, offset them, you know. That's the cool thing about this, and you can also grab just one of them. If you if you still think they're linear, you can just grab one of these, move it around, maybe move it uh, somewhere where it's not going to be as linear. And then you can bring those back, and then you can continue to uh, sculpt on these. Again, I use the snake hook with the um, preserve length in the fiber mesh settings I use this because it just it feels more like a natural brush but you can use whatever you want you can also clump these together so you can use the pinch brush go over to your brushes menu go to preserve length turn off the collision if you don't want that because uh, sometimes these will bunch up and be weird but then you can sit there and you can clump these together and then you can, you know, just uh, just keep hairstyling it like this, you know. And then Shift Control D, bring that back. Change where the pivot is because that's always important. Maybe even go like this, and just keep just keep shaping it like that. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna bring it a little bit more closer like this kind of fanning it away from that okay shift control D and you just keep doing this over and over and over again and for the side hair you don't necessarily have to keep doing this all you have to do is just spawn hair regularly keeping your your fiber mesh settings that you have um, just 
mask off the side of the head and then spawn it and then just comb it down. It's a little bit easier. The top of the head is mostly the one that's visible. So it's a little bit harder to to see. But yeah, that's it. that's essentially what I did. And if you want to do this a little bit faster, you can make these hairs a little bit wider so that they get more coverage. But uh, yeah, that's essentially what I did. And then you just keep on working on it and working on it and working on it. Um, if you want to cut the hair, you can just like shape it uh, generally around this area, put the, the roots in place, um, start to comb it down. And let's say this is just a little bit too long for our taste. What we could do is we can go to the clip brush, go to clip curve, clip that, comb it out, clip it again, comb it out. And now we have, you know, a little bit better of hair. And then we can go into our PI again with our brush settings on there. We can just start to clump these together. And uh, yeah, you just keep on doing that and you just keep on doing that. Okay. Control Shift D, duplicate this, bring it back, maybe sway it a little bit, change the uh, change the position. And the good thing about this is that it's going to keep on like, you know, keeping that that fiber mesh setting that you that you want. Okay. And of course, this this looks like hot garbage right now, but of course, like I'm going really fast. But you want again, you want to like take your time with it. You want to mess with the settings and get all that stuff really good. Uh, and the cool thing about this is that it, it still keeps all of the fiber mesh like preview settings. So if you go into the preview settings, you can go to fast preview. You can view the curves. These are your curves. You can use these for like hair and other programs. But uh, yeah, that's essentially what I did. So uh, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, again, you want to spend as much time as you can on it, making sure that you get it as decent as you possibly can. Okay. I'm trying to grab this one out here. That's like a straggler. There we go. But yeah, just remember, like you can use most of these gizmo tools to help you out. Um, the only thing you can't use is something that would change the geometry physically. So anything like a, if you're changing, um, I think the the point, like you can't you can't use this. I believe maybe you can. I don't know. I right, well, look at that. I guess you can. It's really weird looking though. Um, but like anything that changes it physically, like a a slice, you can't change it, or else it'll it'll take away your your fiber mesh but uh, yeah it's a little bit easier than uh, trying to comb every single like curve on here um, and not to mention you get some cool looking stylized hair look as well so again thank you guys so much for watching I really hope this helped you um, I know this is really fast but that's what I did to make the hair um, just you know I, I I figured out where a part was that I wanted to kind of go around like I wanted this area to be like the area that is kind of fanning out all of the hair um, based on the references that I gathered and I just kind of placed the hair fanning around this and then I combed it and used like the deformers to um, deform it into place like I would go into here and I would like you know shift this over and just kind of like make it more swoopy and the cool thing is, is I can go in there and I can still comb it. And, you know, you can also rotate these if you grab, like, two points. You can also rotate these um, around and just make interesting, like, hair shapes with these. So that's essentially what I did to create the hair. Okay? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you. All right. Take care, guys.